All right. Uh, good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, in the audience. Uh, this is an O2 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I mean Cherokee. Sorry, I get that confused a lot. Um, as you can see here, we have a very erratic speedometer. Uh, this is due um, to the output speed shaft sensor in the transmission or on the transmission. Pretty easy to get to for the most part. Uh, if you have a failing one or a faulty one, you will generally get these issues right here with a um, speedometer being very erratic. Uh, I did throw a check engine light code for the speed shaft sensor yesterday, um, but I went ahead and reset it. Uh, if the code does, if it does actually get so bad, it actually did at a stoplight, it got so bad that it actually threw a code and it was, it did not want to upshift. It stayed stuck in first gear till well into the high RPM range, like four or five rpms before it wanted to shift which isn't good so you don't want to drive around like that um, a small remedy that you can do and use um, to kind of get you home is to uh, go ahead and um, disconnect the battery reset the computer uh, I pulled over grabbed something to eat disconnected the battery ate a little lunch or dinner in my vehicle and uh, plugged the battery back up and I was able to go to school and make it home with no problem outside of the speedometer being very erratic uh, so you can do that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the uh, output shaft sensor I'm on my way to the auto core store uh, right now a few minor symptoms that you might notice uh, before the, sh the sensor actually goes is you may get a first second first back into second pulling away from a stoplight that's not going uphill. I know it happened to me on a few occasions. It was, it was so rare that I actually considered, well, maybe just maybe my foot just wasn't on the throttle properly or maybe my foot slipped off. I also noticed this in my driveway, going up my driveway is a little bit of an incline um, for a good, I don't know, 300 feet or so. Uh, I did notice it then, uh, but hopefully this helps some poor soul out there and uh, I don't know, I'm, I might put another video at the end of this showing you that it's fine and fixed now. Um, I did get a, a error code, like I said yesterday, I think it was P0270 for the output shaft sensor. And we're going to go to O'Reilly or Advanced Auto Parts. We're gonna go get another one. Peace out.